Senator Pratt, you are finished? Uh, yes, thank Senator you. Senator Roberts. Thank you, Chair. And thank you Senator. all for attending. Good to see you again. On the 12th of February, uh, Dr Finkel, you made a speech entitled The Orderly Transition to the Electric Planet. In that speech, you made the following statement, quote, at the start of the Industrial Revolution, it was, referring to the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, 280 parts per million, which is 0.028%. Today, the concentration is 409 parts per million, which is 0.041%, a level not experienced for 4 million years, a time predating humans when giant sloths and mastodons roamed the earth. That's the end of quote. The papers you cited as evidence for the claim that carbon dioxide levels have not been this high for 4 million years does not support your claim. Are you aware that these recorded values within your sourced papers are not stated to be the maximum value, but what would be an average of what occurred over timescales between 1,000 and 6,000 years apart? <coughs> the maximum minimums would be smoothed out of the data. A blip like the current blip would not be visible. I have not gone back into those source papers to look at them with that degree of, um, of analysis, but they certainly did not record levels higher than what we, as high as what we're seeing today. <clears throat> with, with the measurements being a thousand years apart at best, and more often six thousand years or more apart, uh, a blip like today's would be would not be seen. But there are there are a lot of measurements in those records, and so you can never guarantee it. But there's a good probability that if there had been very high periods, some of the measurements would have picked that up. Very high probability. Okay, let's move on then. Are you aware of Beck's papers? Ernst George Beck, a German, who documented more than 90,000 measurements of atmospheric carbon dioxide levels, many well above today's level? I am not. In the, recent, in the past 220 years? In the past 220 years? Correct. I am not. Are you aware of ice core expert Dr. I forget, I think it's a Polish name, Zbigniew Jaworowski, states that ice cores are not reliable and that the UN's climate body, the IPCC, fiddled its graph data sideways 83 years to make the ice core data fit the modern pattern. So in other words, the blip is not really a blip. <laughs> I'm not aware of that and I don't have any reason to suspect the integrity of the IPCC. You have no reason to suspect the integrity of the IPCC? Okay. Are you aware that real-time measurements today show that carbon dioxide, this is from satellite, show that carbon dioxide levels vary enormously, spatially and temporally around the Earth throughout the day and year? I would say that the data that I referred to uh, primarily comes from two sites, the Mauna Loa site in Hawaii and the Cape Grim site in Tasmania. And both of them are regularly sam sampling many times a day from atmosphere or from air that is traveling across thousands of kilometers of uh, ocean and very, very well mixed. But are you aware, that my question was, are you aware of satellite measurements showing at any time the enormous spatial and temporal variations? I am not. Okay. 